So then in theory the, the, the entire compartment will touch the paint there and we'll get we'll get the earth to conduct. Just be really trimmed and hidden eventually. Not too worried at the moment. And then obviously your panel here. So I'm just going to go through and uh, just cover all of this. I mean, it's going completely over the top for a, a cheap guitar, but if it serves a purpose that you've got a nice guitar and you want to make some improvements on, or at least just see for yourself whether you like, whether you really can hear the difference. If you don't do it, you'll never know. I think that's the point of a lot of this. It's just to learn as you go along. You can decide what, what you like on your guitars, and if you've got a few guitars, you can, you can do the same to all of them. Sure, how kind this stuff is on the planet. But you can go through these with a scalpel or something and just tidy it all up. I'm be too worried about it at the moment. useful to any of you guys out there. It would have been worthwhile doing this. At least it gives you an idea about materials and methods and because I mean I hear people talking about this sort of stuff on the internet. I don't see how many people are actually demonstrating. It's probably quite quite a few demos on there but you can probably get some of these bits with the scalpel. And then as I go along I'm just gonna make the holes again. I 
very boring process. This is why guitarists can get so geeky about things. I thought it was worth doing the copper wire because you can, or the copper tape, so you can see it being done. And just one more lot to go. You can easily buy this tape off the internet. I don't think it costs very much. But no one will ever see the, uh, the inside anyway, so it's not anything really to worry about. So I'll clean up the edges later on. So that's roughly one plate done. And then uh, I'll probably just run a, a strip. Just to ensure you've got a good connection, you can use a little bit of copper strip. string earth or wherever you know, down here and you can just connect to string earth and, and run it to the panel there just to make sure you've got a decent connection to the top you do things like that well I'm going to give this another blast of metallic paint Make sure that it's got enough of it to make sure that it conducts. I didn't really want to have to do this, but I think I need to make sure that it's going to really conduct properly. I'm not convinced that it is. I'm just using up the paint that I've got before I make up my own. And I really can't vouch for what how much graphite is in here. And if you don't make it yourself, you'll never know.
this is doing everything that they, they should have done when they made it in the first place. Spent years with earthing problems for guitars, and then I used to. I remember I went into a shop once and I said, Have you got a guitar that doesn't buzz? I wasn't very old, and I just asked the guy in the shop, you know, and he, and he gave me a, a proper Gibson Les Paul custom. He said, Well, play that, and there were no earthing problems at all. And I thought, Oh, well, this is. this is nice. I guess that's what it's like when you're younger, you play inferior, you might play inferior instruments. Then you finally get to play a decent one. And you see why. Sometimes it's worth... Yeah. You find out why they're worth the money. So over the top for a guitar like this. Who knows how good this stuff is for your health? Leave it in too much, I like that. It's another coat of the stuff, so... I was continuity testing it to see if it was conducting. And really, I, can't, I kind of feel that I should put it on a strip of paper and test it to see, just see how conductive it is. See if I can get a reading on it. See if it conducts. So we'll try that again later and see what happens. Right now I've painted the cavity because I tested it earlier and I didn't get any resistance readings so it was a bit like if you try and get a resistance reading on a piece of plastic um, you know you won't get any any reading uh, that is on the screen so I'm getting zero you know obviously it's not changing at all it won't change so um, you know what I've decided to do, when you hold it on, like to a piece of, so that's gone to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So you're looking for, it's, it's to do with resistance. So here's, here's another piece of, so it's gone to 1, flash to 1, 0 0.2. And then here's my paint, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0
1.4 kilo ohms 1.38 kilo ohms so we're getting at least we get we know it's conducting and we're getting so now there that's 31 32 it just flashed at and I can get a resistance reading from the panel to there so I know that it's it's that's 2.2 2.5 those are So kilo ohms, 0.3 kilo ohms, 20 kilo ohms. So at least we're getting some kind of reading, which is the main thing. So we know that the conductive paint is now working. It didn't. It wasn't working before. It probably needed a second coat to actually get it to cover the whole area. And then we can just test it. The paint works. You know by. If you ever buy conductive paint or you make your own, just see if you get a reading. Uh, this is catmusic.co.uk, cat-music.co.uk. So I got this one from probably, I think it was eBay, Cat Music. So conductive shielding paint. So as long as you've got some kind of resistance, there are different types, obviously. Um, your ideal resistance is the lowest resistance possible. So, yes, there we go, Looks like a bit of paint on there. So there's a little bit about conductive paint, about resistance, uh, painting the cavities. Let's just see if what I painted in there works, just out of curiosity. Yep, we're getting a reading, 4.2, 4.5, 10, 16. So getting some readings in there, so I'm getting a reading between the bottom and the, yes, I'm getting a reading. So if I want to shield even just that little cavity, I could. Um, I thought it was interesting just to paint it and see if I can get a reading, see if this, if this actually works. So um, no need to make your own if you've got some, enough of this to cover, you know, a few cavities uh, worth, worth doing. Um, but at least I know the paint works and then I know that when this is connected to there, when the paint dries, I know I'm going to get a decent seal on the, as long as I earth this now, I've got to earth some part of the, the cavity, the same with this, I can earth them and then I know that they're really shielded. The other way of doing it is to earth everything, every, every switch, every pot, whatever you've got in there, if you, if you earth everything uh, you can you can have, a, it's another approach but this is kind of like an overarching approach and uh, you kind of know it's going to work so it might be worthwhile so I'm just going to uh, put a strip on here and then I'm done Probably going well over the top thing this, but yeah. it might be worth just shielding it a little bit. I'm not going to be too crazy with it because it's just for rejecting some waves. Bombarded 
with with waves, so it can all affect your the way your guitar works. You know when you stick this stuff down that it conducts across, that's why I tested it on the, the compartment. Just wanted to make sure that it was conducting across the plate. I mean radio frequencies are going to hit, hit, they're going to, they're going to um, rebound off any angle they can find. That's what they do. But the more areas you've got to reject those frequencies, the better. I mean, this is only, I mean, it's only one switch in the, so it's well over the top, really. You don't need to do this. But just for the sake of, if you wanted to completely uh, reject frequencies and noise. If you're really not going nuts about it. So I'm not too worried about this one. The difference this will make is be so minuscule but some of these up so. That's why I kept all the little cuttings. I thought, well, maybe I'll use them. Just hide a few. Hide a few sections. Yeah. So it's all pretty covered. I mean that would, that should conduct. Let's test it. So I've got an ohm reading there. So we know we'll get a reading from that. And then across strips, yep, yeah, getting a reading. Across strips, yep, yeah, reading. Across strips, yeah, we're getting a reading. So we know that it's conducting, even those little silly little parts I put on that are conducting. So if you imagine that your frequencies would be hitting hitting this, and if it's earthed in there, then this is all going to reject, you know, these little bits around the edge. You know, the odd that's going to be actually around the wooden bit anyway, so um, that's all nice and shielded. So there you go, um, completely over the top, but, but sort of fun to do. So there you go, shielding, shielding for guitarists. Hopefully it'll be a quieter guitar. So uh, yeah, see you guys later. So why not make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel? You can subscribe here.